Hello, it's the Skeleton Bones, and this is the new mode pack that we are playing today. It's called FTB Skies The Expert Mode. Actually, it's called the FTB Skies Expert. It's the new mode pack from the FTB team. It's only available from the FTB launcher. If you want to get this pack and possibly play along, let's start with opening up the quest book. Well, the first quest is Welcome to the FTB Skies. Welcome back to the FTB Skies. These quests are optional. I suggest you use this as a guide to take you through your adventures in our skyboard world. And I assume launching the rocket would be the end goal of this mod pack. <laughs> Probably. So that's the entirety of this welcome chapter. We are starting on how it looks like a sky sheep. We would also start with five oak saplings, some apples, the flax seeds, bone meal and the quest book. And the way that I'm opening up the quest book without using the actual item is the key binding. I set it to the reef key. Starting your island going through the ship's portal will allow you to choose a starting island. Create an FTB team's party if you wish to play with a friend. Mm. Well, I'm, since I'm playing alone, I will just claim these rewards, some XP, and we get annotated codex as a reward. Ars Nouvelle. Nouvelle, I think it's a French word. Ars Nouvelle. <laughs> Something like that. Join or create a team island. To complete this quest, we need to join a team or create an island. Because I'm playing alone, I'm just gonna go straight into the portal and create an island. I've got several options here. To make my first skyblock experience more genuine, I'm gonna choose the minimalist sky island. But, of course, there are several other options that are perfectly viable to play this mod pack. That must be here. We have this quest completed, I'm gonna claim the rewards. We get the personal shrinking device right at the start. Some more flux seeds and some ice. We have spawned on this small island, which only has one single oak tree, a chest, a single source of water. Let's open up the chest first. An iron band, which would be useful to expand my base actually. Charm of levitation, that's the important item to have in a skyblock world. Ceramic water bucket, we could create another water source block immediately. Well anyway, and an Easter egg. Strange creature seems to observe you from. Be careful moving around this island. Another strange creature. Oh, that must be the strange creature that the child is talking about. Ah, well, enough talking. Let's get into the questing. Sneak, right click, grass, dirt, or compact machine walls to collect rocks, holding soil, or cobble clumps in your offhand will let you target what you are digging to be more selective. Alright, well. Let's do that then. I'm just gonna get the best rock. It's pretty useless, but still. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh, it's not the choice reward actually. We could, uh, we could get all of them. So the next task is to make some flint. Craft some of the chunks you dug up into gravel to make flint. But of course I know how to make the flint because it was Explained in the quest book, my main concern is the gravel. How do we make this? By combining the rocks and compost of soil. Like that. And let's make some lint. I think that's too much actually. Let's make, I don't know, about 10 pieces of lint for now. Taking a nap. The next quest is to make a flint hatchet. Flint and a single stick. I'm gonna need 16 logs for this next quest. Before chopping down this tree, I'm gonna expand the base a little bit so that if we have some drops from these leaf blocks, they will not fall off into the void. Let's do that, let's expand this a bit. Do a layer of dirt. And then I'm gonna surround it with cobblestone. Just gotta be careful not to fall into the void. Right at the start. Plains biome. <laughs> the plains biome in Valheim is not as peaceful at least as it is in Minecraft. I'm gonna need some more cobblestone for this. The hell? Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, dude. Mm, I actually might need some more cobblestone though. Let me get the iron van there. Start expanding the base. This. 
I have to spend a bit of time doing this. <laughs> Sneaking and right clicking on the soil blocks. Seems like a common theme among the storm block and sky block mod packs. That should be fine for now. And we got some notification about those creatures observing us. They might have some malevolent intentions or they might not. They might just observe us without having any malicious intent. Oh, that was a jump scare. And then in Stormblock we had this mod. I think it was called Twerk mod. Nope. I'm to work in this mod pack. So I wonder if I should spend some bone meal. But this might be wasteful actually. Well, we are trying to grow this tree, by the way, I should probably plant some more of these. While we are trying to grow these trees, might as well look at some quests that we have here. FTB events. In FTB Skies Expert, we have a bunch of events happening at Darker during your gameplay. This quest will let you toggle them individually. I don't think that I'm gonna toggle any of these events off just to make that experience as genuine as possible. Let's go for the next quest. How oh, behave. You must occasionally run into a loot bee. They'll give you gifts if you stay nearby. However, they may fly off and be lost forever. You can use a lead to keep them in place, but they'll also follow you if you hold a puppy. Events. Uh, right, more about the events. The pack uses a system called events where things can randomly happen sometimes. Still don't have any trees growing though. Anyway, we still have some quests to complete while waiting on these trees to grow. Throwing shade. I do not have the best computer in the world, far from it. So I'm not even gonna enable the shaders. Schematic cannons. Most of the multi blocks in this pack have been provided to you as schematics. Right, well, that's cool to know. Mm, well, I'm not able to craft any of these items. I'm gonna have to spend some of this bow mill. Well, luckily, we got an oak tree right away. That must be the quest complete. You know, the drill, break the trees, make the things, make a crafting table to get started. Do we actually need to use the saw, I think? Yeah. That is why I was holding on to this saw. Am I? How do we get the planks without? Do I actually need to use the saw on this? Oh. The recipe is a bit more difficult than the default recipes. Obviously, this is a. <laughs> This is an expert pack, as to be expected. Well, anyway, let's make the crafting table now. We get a crafting stick as a reward for this. It's not really that important of an item because we are pretty much stationary in this skyblock mod pack. Anyway, I'm twerked about twerk. No squat, no grow. That was what I was talking about. Getting baked. One of the first things you may wish to get into is making charcoal. Let's make a couple of these. I'm still being careful around the edges of this platform. I will need to expand it sooner or later. I'm probably surrounded with walls to be a bit on the safer side. We can smell these. Charcoal block and some XP. This is not a drill. Hammers. Well, the best one. I think that is available to me currently would be the stone hammer. One thing that I like about the FTB packs, and I've played the stone block too. <laughs> Out of the FTB packs, I've only played probably the stone block too and FTB Infinity Road. And one thing I like about the FTB packs is that the quest books are, they do not seem like a chore. The FTB packs are kind of a bit more on a casual side. And that's actually what I like about the FTB mod packs because sometimes you need that little bit of a change of pace, especially when you are playing a lot of expert mod packs. And that is including the Greg Tech New Horizons. I'm gonna mention that a lot because I'm Greg to the bone. Ah. Sorry, I caught a little bit of a cold, so. 
not only that my sore, my throat is sore, but also my nose is clogged. As I mentioned, the Greg to the bone. Since I tried the Greg Tech New Horizons mod pack, I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, I'm pretty much comparing every pack that I play to the Greg Tech New Horizons now. Uh, so this quest has us crushing some gravel into the Zion and then the dust. I'm pretty similar to what we had in Stoneblock 2 mod pack. And I'm thinking that it is the time to expand my base a little bit further. has to be the chunk overlay. We could bring it up by pressing the F9 button. Alternatively, you could use F3 and the G key binding. Uh, which is pressing the F9 button is a bit easier. <laughs> Eventually, I want to have my base aligned to the chunk. So let me start by expanding this particular corner across this chunk and then set up my storage area here. I think that I'm out of cobblestone now. It will also go a bit faster if you do not hold the right click but you press it quickly. So basically what you do is you set up a macro to do the clicks for you. And there should be another mod that adds the possibility of making the macros. What? Am I out of cobblestone already? Oh well. More right clicking then. This will make this base a bit safer. So the next thing, I'm gonna need some sand, I'm gonna need some dust, let's do that. We could just v-mine the entire thing. Sorry. And then place the sand to get the dust. To move on to this quest, apparently we have to finish this quest first. We need to plant some flax seeds that we had. I cannot do that, neither on the grass blocks or just the dirt blocks, so I'm gonna have to till the soil. Let's remove the chunk outlines, by the way. Yeah, it's just a simple recipe. We could even use the cobblestone for this. And also, I wanted to do something. I need to take this ceramic water bucket and make a water source. Then yeah, let's till the soil and plant some flax. And uh, was it always the right time in this dimension? Right, we got some flax. We just converted one to one. And then that means the quest is complete. And to make a string mesh, we actually just need one string, which is what we have. That should be a quest complete. A string mesh isn't very sturdy or finely woven. It'll get the most basic resources, but not much else. We got a wooden hopper and a cooked chicken cut. It's not bad. We are so far we only had apples as the food source. And then the sifter go per sifting for treasures. It's I assume it's the X X X Nilo something mod. Or maybe it's not called X Nilo anymore because it's the 1.19 version of Minecraft. We want to prioritize getting food as the hand crank can consume quite a bit of hunger. We've given you some, but we should set up an auto fisher and work towards a wheat farm, wet farm. Let's make the sifter first. Should I actually make more sifters right away? Was it eight sifters? Oh yeah, of course, I'm gonna need some more cobblestone for this. But you know what, like the gathering early game materials is the one of the main mechanics of the skyblock mod packs. So I'm not even mad. For me personally, it's the first skyblock mod pack that I'm playing ever. I've only been playing like the overworld mod packs like Enigma Tech 2 Expert or Greg Tech New Horizons. And the closest to this one I've played was the Stormblock 2 and Stormblock 1 mod packs. But so far the experience seems very smooth. A lot like the Storm A lot like the Stormblock 1 and 2 mod packs. Except we are not surrounded by stone anymore. That's the main difference, pretty much. Judging by my experience with the Stormblock 2 mod pack, of course, these kind of mod packs could be slow at the start, but they get better the closer you are to the end game. I would say that the Stormblock 2 was a fast paced mod pack because I was able to finish it in about maybe two weeks or about that time. 
and compared to for example the Enigmatica 2 Expert which took me about 3 months to finish and I've only finished it I think it was once I've played that, that mod pack quite a, a lot I started playing Enigmatica 2 Expert maybe 10 times but I've only finished it once yep. less resource gathering less manual resource gathering which is nice yeah it is a break it is a change of pace from the regular mod packs i shouldn't have rushed actually because we might get some yep <laughs> we do get some sifters as a quest reward here We do it like this and then place the coke wheel i assume like that and then the hand the crank on top of it It'll just work right yep well the next quest my serum spores this is not how it works I do need to use the hoppers, it seems like. So let's do it like this. And place the sifter on top of it. Like that. Well, now it doesn't seem to work at all. What the hell? again sifter aligns with the cogwheel of your hand crank is on you need to make sure you place the mesh oh of course and now it should work oh yeah it does work now <laughs> so where do we get the drops from Oh, we have to right click the drops out of this these sifters like we need to press the right click to get them out <clears throat> so that means I'm gonna have to make some of these some more of these why do we not get any why see them seeds yet? something wrong here oh it's oh yeah of course it says the man of steel mesh what oh so we have zero chance to get the mycelium spores using the string mesh we need to use the andesite mesh for this which is the andesite alloy which is iron shards and appetite that means that this quest is for the later Feral alloys nuggets of wisdom here Sifting gravel will net you iron shards. This can be crafted into andesite alloy, which is necessary for progression. So I'm gonna need a few of these, actually I'm not gonna spend a lot, like half a stack. Ah, thanks. <laughs> I'll bring this back. And that was the next quest. We get some andesite alloy by the way, which I could use to make the andesite mesh. So to actually make some passive material generators. To get into this I'm gonna have to make the mechanical press from create. So that means I'm gonna have to move through this quest line towards the mechanical press. Which is actually not that far away. And also let's not forget to chop down these trees. Do we have that recipe of a cooked apple in this mod pack? Oh, doesn't seem like it. It was an OP type of food in Stone Black 2 mod pack. I need to sneak and right click to remove the mesh then place it back. Just got to make sure that I'm placing the correct version of this mesh. 
and then having these underside type meshes also means that we could see for the mycelium blocks, uh, the mycelium seeds or something, the spores. Except I don't have a lot of dirt. Again. Oh well, I'm gonna have to get some more dirt then. I wonder if we actually use up more saturation on cranking uh, like eight sieves instead of just cracking two sieves. I could have disconnected these. But oh well. It's not like I'm saving through a lot of material anyway. Just 16 blocks. Yeah, this should be a quest complete. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to this mechanical press. Uh, what I'm gonna need some endless alloy. Oh yeah, yeah. The main reason that I did this was the appetite. Which I don't think that I did actually. I just saved the, through dirt and not the dust. Well, that's not a lot of appetite. Judging by this uh, graphic we have here, we need to place a stripped log, any kind of stripped log on the ground and then place the andesite alloy on top of it and that would create the andesite casing. Then we do it like this or just right click on top of it. Oh yeah, that was easier than I expected. That's the mechanical press. So the way it works, hmm, one of the better aspects of the create mod is that it integrates very well with the JEI and we have all kinds of graphical representations of the recipes that we are supposed to make with the create machines. So it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. It seems like there should be any type of block underneath this press item. And then... Uh, yeah, easy enough. We do several items at a time. It doesn't seem like it. Although it does not break the recipe anyway. So I can see that we have the lava quest over here. So I should probably go towards this direction. Uh, it seems like there are a lot of mods for me to figure out. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that was the first time that I looked at that element's eyes. I thought I'd die. Well, anyway, I'm not playing the hardcore mode. At least we got an ender pearl from this encounter. But that's the bee. That's the bee that the quest was talking about. How should I... Oh, well, I'm hoping that it is not the only time that that bee spawns in here. Because uh, I definitely missed this one. If you wish to proceed with getting lava in the mixing cauldron, so you must be talking about this thing, you will need two buckets of blood. That the conversion of the first bucket of blood. Oh, yeah, that is talking about pretty much the same thing that this quest was talking about. I am kind of at a loss here. How do I get the blood? There must be a different way of getting the lava. By hopping on a squeezer. Wait, hopping on a squeezer? Uh, the squeezer in question must be the. Integrated dynamic squeezer. We could do that. But then how do we get the lava out of this? We get the blaze powder, I assume, by melting, by sifting. Mm, netherrack. Well, since this quest book had us make the mixing cauldron, I assume that it is the only way of getting the lava in this skyblock environment. So the only thing that I can think of is we need some way to get the blood. We already need some lava for this recipe. What am I supposed to do here exactly? If you wish to proceed with getting lava in the mixing cauldron, alright, that's not the option because I could not get the blood. Alternatively, you could automate dripstone if it's hanging from a block and that has lava above it, so that is assuming we have the lava already. But the only hint that we have here is that we could use the squeezer. Maybe we could just hop on an empty squeezer. Which then again, I don't have a container to store the lava. No. No lava from this squeezer. 
that's pretty much it about the squeezer. So one more thing that I could think about is that one of these quests that we haven't completed yet could lead us to making the lava. Or maybe they will reward us with a bucket of lava. Let's focus on clay then. Sifters that are waterlogged sometimes produce alternative resources. Hint. To waterlog a sifter without a bucket you must place it into a block of water. But I do have a bucket. Basic fluid tank which could act as a bucket. I should be fine for now. I'm just gonna remove the water as soon as I'm done with this craft. I think that it is a good time to get rid of this enderman. Hmm, well, he died of water poisoning, I guess. So I didn't get the loot. Well, let's just plug up the hole for now. And then I'm gonna think about the way that I could remove the water from these. I think that I'm gonna have to break these. So the main thing that I needed is some clay. Get some more clay and some more sand as a reward for this quest. So let's move on then. Sweet dreams are made of seeds. That's probably the way that we are gonna get a bucket of lava. And yeah, I said that I should prioritize making the food. As soon as I craft my first cobble gen, I'm gonna work on expanding the base and make a farm, at least one farm plot. And then it said that we needed to plant them and they'll grow into the demon dream fruits, which is uh, this thing, right? Yep. I feel like that it doesn't get us closer to getting some lava. With the access to lava, I do not have the access to lava. Oh, the blood sage. All right, well. <laughs> So that must be the way we will generate some blood for this recipe. Let's start with this one then. Your earliest source of redstone is from killing witches. The endless witch gate can be crafted with some simple mob drops and will cause witches to spawn indefinitely. Until you fail. Until you fail the wave timer, at which point the pearl will return to you to use again when you need it. Warning, beware the portal. Well, let's bookmark this. I do have the ender pearl. Mm, so we do need to wait for well pretty much any type of monsters monster it seems like oh, which means that I'm gonna have to try and expand this base in that direction before I could get my generator which also means that I'm gonna have to spend some time right clicking the dart again I just about to see the most interesting gameplay that the skyblock mod packs could offer Crouching and right clicking at the dot block. And the grind is real in this mod pack. What? Cobblestone bricks? The quark mod has some nice building blocks in it. My favorite is probably the. What's it called? The reinforced glass block. Looks like the industrial type glass reinforced. Like the Victorian era glass something. It's not. I mean, it's not. Nothing too spectacular. Just something different. Well, anyway, some more cobblestone grinding. But yeah, and to combat the creepers, I actually need something else. I need to raise this wall a bit. Oh, that. That guy looked extra creepy. That's a quest. It was actually a quest to kill a single creeper. But this actually might be useful. Pretty much works the same way as the open blocks uh, enchanter builder or something. But it does require it does seem to require the power at least. We could only get this from the dungeon chests or seems kinda of confusing. It says dungeon chests. But also it's a, oh, it must be the dungeon chest that is inside of the village mason building. 
and that's pretty much it. I need to wait for the night time and wait for the monsters to start spawning. For now, let's see if we can craft a soul stone. Not the soul stone, soul sand. We could do it this way. Let's try and do this. Oh yeah. And then it was, it said something about the multi-blocks, I believe. But it doesn't seem like it is a multi-block. It basically works without requiring any fuel. And I wonder if I step into this fire, what will happen? Ah, uh, nothing happens. Well, I expected much worse from the occultism mod. Oh. One thing that I shouldn't have done is I shouldn't have lit this fire here because it lights it up. Or it actually has a large area at which it lights the block up. Well, let's put it out then. And since it does not do any damage to us, the next time that I'm gonna need it, I'm gonna light it somewhere closer to my base. Not my base. Uh, closer to this part of the base because technically that part of the base is also my base. The monsters are starting to spawn. It's like they are spawning behind this wall, which is, which is exactly what I wanted. Just got to make sure that there aren't any other monsters. Did we get any earth shards? Oh, no way. We have enough space for the monsters to spawn here. Have to look out for this one as well. Let's see if we could make the torches. I completely forgot. Now we could actually make the torches. Yeah, I should have done this. These are actually dangerous. The spiders. <laughs> and the mob farm actually works <laughs> a bit better than I expected. Should actually be enough. So this is a completely functioning mob farm. Yeah, seems elegant enough. Now we can finally move on with this quest. That's yeah, just an earth shard with an ender pearl. Easy enough. Ah, uh, place the blood sigil inside the hexerite cauldron. Once it's inside, you can jump up and down on it to cause the cauldron to begin to fill with blood. Anyway, let's. Let's start crafting these. Where is Blackstone? Right, Blackstone, what? It seems like we need to complete a couple more quests. With the power peat. <laughs> no way. It's a much more difficult recipe than I thought it would be. Making the cobblestone generator would make my life so much easier. <laughs> That's why I'm prioritizing the cobblestone generator anyway. A create mixer can combine many different varieties of fluid and items to combine them into something new. I'm just gonna place it here. Then another crank. Uh, I don't think that it works this way. Actually, we might need this tug wheel. <laughs> Looks a bit weird, but it works. Does work for the biomass. The cheapest recipe to make the biomass charcoal dust. We're gonna use the, uh, the squeezer, a single charcoal dust for 16 pieces of biomass. Like that. that should just work. Okay, 16. Are we supposed to get... Oh, yeah, yeah. So the flowers actually give 
us more biomass for this recipe. Whole stack of copper. Yep, that's what I wanted. So it was, I think it was the mixer. Hold on. So we uh, get the raw copper by mixing, yep, mixing the copper shards. Shouldn't be too bad. The raw copper just goes into the ferns. I think that doing it this way is the most efficient way as far as the manual crafting goes. If anyone knows of a better way to automate this, uh, please write your suggestion in the, the comments. I mean, it's just more that Minecraft is not the rocket science that we are looking at. I'll probably figure this out on my own anyway, uh, sometime sooner or later. Wait, do we only get one? No, we get four. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. It's my axe. Wait, how did that creeper get away? Oh, that could be bad. Did that creeper get out? I think he must have. Actually, it wasn't too bad. He just took out a couple of blocks, I think. To the pit you go. I think that I had some red, some more redstone in one of these chests, unless I didn't. The only way to get the redstone is by killing the witches, which is not really ideal. But of course, we could save the dust, but it requires the mana steel mesh or sprinkling infused death dash mesh. How's that? So yeah, let's start by killing the witches, and uh, if I remember correctly, this quest said something about this endless witch gate pearl spawning a lot of witches. Let's do the first wave first, because I don't exactly know how it works. Come on. Oh no, it could end badly. Let's see if we have some bows in my inventory. I do have some arrows. And I do have the string and also some sticks. Let's make a bow first. Hopefully, I'm hoping that this is not a timed event. kill me now because I only got one heart. Um let's see if we could make the arrows. Ah uh, it does require the feathers. Which I don't really have. Oh no well, that was a bit stressful. It really does take a lot of time to get to the cobblestone generator though. I'm probably gonna wrap this up for today. So I just want to say thank you for everyone who stuck around in this uh, live stream. I hope you like this mod pack as much as I do. Thanks for sticking around. If you want to follow this series live, please welcome on uh, the Skeleton Bones Twitch channel. The links will be in the description. If you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hoping to see you on the next episode. Goodbye.
can't stop. I 